Good morning guys and welcome back to the regular work week. Today is business as usual. I am headed off to work. I'm super tired. We got home at like 1 o'clock. The flight was delayed and then I had to walk from one side of the airport to the other side to get the car. <sighs> Long night. Anyway, I'm super tired but gotta get my butt to work so let me show you guys what I'm having for breakfast lunch and snack today back to basics <laughs> had a great weekend lots of yummy food and today I'm back to basics let me show you okay so for breakfast I'm having my usual coffee I feel like I haven't had good coffee in a few days so huh, I must really like my coffee so I'm having this great value French roast coffee and I have one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. I'm also having my two smart point breakfast pancake breakfast sandwich. So good. I'm super excited to have this. This is two Kodiak pancakes for two smart points, one slice of craft fat-free singles for zero smart points, two Land of Frost Canadian bacon slices for zero smart points and a third a cup of great value egg substitute for zero smart points. When I get to work, I will heat this up for about 30 seconds and pour this yummy syrup all over it. This is the Wallen Farms pancake syrup for zero smart points. So breakfast altogether is two smart points. Lunch today is my Reuben wrap for two smart, no, three points. So the Reuben wrap has the Olay Extreme Wellness wrap on the bottom for one smart point. Then it has one slice of the Trader Joe's Light Jarlsberg cheese for one smart point. And then it also has three ounces of the, it's either Maker's Mark or Member's Mark, the um, Sam's Club corned beef. So three ounces is one point. All of that in the wrap for three smart points. When I eat it, I will have it with this sauerkraut. I have four tablespoons of sauerkraut for zero smart points. And then I also have some carrot salad. This is uh, shredded carrots, diced pineapple, and a tablespoon of banquet light mayonnaise, all for zero smart points. And then I have a tablespoon of cranberries for one smart point. So lunch altogether is four points. For snack, I'm going to have some sugar-free jello for zero smart points and some grapes for zero so everything i have today is snack zero lunch four breakfast two that is six points to have until dinner tonight Hey guys, so happy Tuesday. Here we are back at work, business as usual, and I am back on track. I have to tell you, I failed miserably with trying to stick with any kind of smart points budget this weekend. But on the other hand, I do have to say I don't regret a single bite because it was all amazing. We had the best time, so many delicious dinners, some yummy wine, um, lots of touristy stuff and some walking and shopping and it was just an awesome weekend and something that I will definitely look back on and remember and think about how fun that was. Not, oh my gosh, I had to eat fruit all day because I didn't want to <laughs> eat points. So I'm totally okay with what I ate. I really am not happy or I won't be happy with any sort of weight gain, but I know that the two go hand in hand. So if I'm going to splurge and enjoy myself, which I absolutely did, then I need to accept the consequences as well. So coincidentally, <laughs> conveniently, thankfully, this is the week that I decided to weigh in on Saturday morning. So I am not going to weigh in tonight. However, I am still going to my meeting um, because I love my leader, I love the people, and this will still be the only time that I can actually sit down and attend a meeting as a member and not be like weighing people in and doing receptionist duties. So I will be going to weigh in tonight, um, uh, to the meeting tonight, but not weighing in. <clears throat> I will be weighing in on Saturday. And you guys, I wanna hit it so hard before Saturday. Like I just wanna go hardcore, 
hardcore way watchers all the way like what does that even mean right um number one it definitely means sticking within my 30 points budget which i have the hardest time doing i don't am i the only one because i literally go off like all the time so before this vacation you guys saw my new and super awesome idea of the habit tracker um i did I did three excellent days last week and then I kind of got off track and then vacation and yada yada. So three days though and here's my fresh brand new habit tracker that I'm going for 30 days of 30 smart points. I'm starting today. I'm not going to wait until June 1st because literally I don't have time to wait. I have weigh-in on Saturday. I need to start killing this extra weight like now. <laughs> so I am starting my new habit tracker today. Today is day one. I'm doing 30 days of 30 smart points or less and I am totally okay with being under, very much under. Like it'll probably never happen because you guys know I love to have my two glasses of wine in the evening and that always takes me up to at least 30 points. But if there happens to be a day <laughs> where I don't hit 30 by a long shot, I am okay with that, totally okay. Um, so I'm gonna hopefully just kill it on the points and I'm gonna work out super hard. Unfortunately, I can only work out four days this week instead of five, so that's kinda killing me, but um, I am doing a long run on Friday. So I'm doing another 10 mile long run on Friday and hopefully that should help with weigh-in on Saturday. So um, I'm also going to be wearing something light no denim so I learned my denim lesson never wear denim on weigh-in day even if it's a short dress denim is denim is denim and it's heavy some heavy stuff so that's my plan guys I'm totally back on track I want to kill it hard like any kind of fine-tuning I can think of to do I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to do whatever I can um, I was listening I'm I'm watching all your guys's videos from the weekend and I'm like I'm way behind obviously and so if I don't have time to make comments on all of you guys just know that I am watching and catching up and you guys had some cool stuff happening this weekend too you guys are just dead on man you guys are solid um, but I was watching a uh, cat on point and she said she was talking about discipline and she said that discipline grows with your success how true is that? Like the more I know that the more successful I am at one or two days of 30 point days, the next day will get easier and then it will get easier and easier. So discipline totally grows with your success. It's just getting yourself, like getting your foot out the door, making yourself take that first step and then the next one and then the next one and the next one. And every day, every smart point, every win, every NSV you have under your belt just further adds to your discipline and your commitment. So I totally believe that and I am, I am just going for it this week. I can't wait to show you guys my habit tracker each day as I add more stickers to it because I don't really have anything else besides stickers and I probably don't have time to go to the store and get anything so we'll do with stickers for right now so but I'm super excited to show you guys my habit tracker every day and hopefully we can add to it with stickers and fun stuff but I am totally back on track so I could use all the motivation you guys can give and I am sorry if I was a terrible example this weekend um, obviously I, I, had, I had hoped planned to try for 30 smart point days in San Francisco of all places um, but you know what, so much good food and good times, I don't regret it. Um, I guess this is what lifetime is and maybe what Weight Watchers is in general is just a balance of living life um, and working the plan. Like I can't do that, I could not do that to that scale every weekend. I'd be gaining for sure, um, I probably did gain. Uh, but it's just a balance between living life and being present in your life, enjoying food and family and fun, and then, you know, maybe getting back to the normal every day. I think that the saying is it's not what you eat. The important part is what you eat 80% of the time, and it's the 10 or 20%. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? 
Um, so the majority of the time I need to be on point and I'm not so I need to get my butt back there and I'm so ready to do it this weekend as much as much fun as that was and all the amazing food my belly is like let's get back on track my belly is happy to be doing the lighter food today so so far all I've had is my pancake breakfast sandwich and oh my gosh you guys that is still to die for like super good breakfast my um my meals are going to be kind of weird this week for breakfast lunch and snack because i didn't do any kind of meal prep or meal planning this weekend at all so it's going to be a little sketchy and um maybe going to do some leftovers here and there um but i really i really strive for like six points during the day so i'm going to try and hit still stay within my six points and save the rest of my points for dinner, which is what I'm used to, which is what my body is used to. So, but it's gonna be just some different uh, odd foods this week. So, totally out of the norm. Today is my normal. Today I have my normal foods because it's actually the food that I had pre-planned and pre-prepped for Friday that I didn't have. So, this is actually Friday's food. It's still good, don't worry. It's not, it's still fresh enough. Anyway, so that's my deal for this week. I will be doing a little bit of uh, meal prep tonight for the rest of my week. And yeah, I'm just ready to be back on it and kill it and um, show you guys how it's done. I hope I can be a better example this week. I gotta head back to work. Um, I will be running my speed run at lunch today. And you guys, I'm up to 7.9 miles an hour. That freaks me out so I don't know how that's gonna go but I have done 7.8 miles an hour the last two weeks so it can't be that much worse right you would think so um, we'll see it's gonna be a really intense intense run today at lunch and then um, I will have one more walk break and Weight Watchers meeting after work so I will touch base with you guys after my lunch killer run see you then Hey guys, welcome to my second walk break of the day. And here's my outfit of the day. Nothing new, just a good old favorite. I like the colors. I like the comfort. I like leggings. And on a day like today, when I did a little bit of overindulging yesterday, it actually feels good to have um, some stretchiness, a little bit of bloating going on. So. Um, yeah, that's my outfit of the day. I um, I brought my habit calendar out with me again because I wanted to show you guys. Ta-da! I couldn't help it. I decorated the first, um, the first day already because it's sitting there staring me in the face at work and I'm looking at it and doing my work and it just looks so empty and uh, not much progress without that first little block at least filled in. Um, so I went ahead and put my stickers on for today. So that means that I have to do good the rest of the day, right? Right. So I am contemplating getting a scale again. I, um, I just really want to, <clears throat> I want to tighten everything up and, uh, just kind of fine tune my process. Um, I feel like I don't, um, like I don't really know where I'm at on a daily basis and weighing in once a week is not good enough because I feel like I'm floating out in space not really knowing what's going on and where I'm at weight wise and there's a lot of mistakes that I could be making if I think I'm at a certain weight and I'm not. So if I know more on a regular basis what I weigh then I feel like I can be more proactive to either you know try harder to lose or to keep it where it's at. Um, so I thought about this and I was also thinking I don't really want to get super obsessive about weighing every day um, because I've done that too and that's just, it's kind of hard not to weigh every day when I have a scale right there ready and available and it's also hard um, to, if you do weigh every day, to not just like look at the number and let it go. You know what I mean? Like just, it's a, it's a calculation, it's a, it's a tool, um, but 
it's just to know where you're at and you should just let it go so I'm kind of waffling but I really think I'm gonna get one because um, I was also thinking back to earlier this year and when I was weighing every day my weight was lower so I think I'm gonna get one probably just a cheap one uh, the one we had before was one that Eddie had got for his um, home dialysis so it was dead on accurate but it doesn't I would like it to be close to the Weight Watcher scale but it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all relative you know if I'm gonna be at X number on my home scale but X number on the Weight Watchers scale I know you know there are different scales so that's okay um, so I think I might pick up a scale I don't think I'll have time to do it tonight I don't honestly know if I'll have time to do it tomorrow night, but I'd like to get it before Saturday's weigh-in. I just kind of want to know where I'm at and what's going on. So anyway, you know what else, you guys? I ran three miles at 7.9 miles an hour. How crazy is that? I can't even believe that I did that. And it was not, I wasn't dying. It was super challenging, don't get me wrong. But I wasn't hurting I wasn't gas gasping for air clinging onto the side of the treadmill I, I was fine so I'm just amazed so I am definitely making some progress in my running goals so that's good it's been very very slow it's a very slow process and I am only improving by a tenth of a mile a week or every other week so it's a very slow process but um, if I would have thought three months ago that I'd be able to run 7.9 miles an hour for three miles? No, I wouldn't have thought that, so that's awesome. I'm super excited. Anyway, I need to head back to work um, because it never ends. Just catching up, doing my thing, so I guess I will touch base with you guys either after the meeting tonight or before I have dinner. I think we're just having we're all going back to basics. We're having, um, Eddie's making a chicken and potato crock pot dish. So, um, should be about eight points. Um, so falls within my range. I'll have a couple glasses of wine and should be right around 20 to 30 points for today. So that's my deal back on track. So I will touch base with you guys in another little while. Hey guys. So I got a little surprise at my Weight Watchers meeting today when I said, I'd like to start weighing in on Saturdays. Apparently, as a lifetime member, I cannot do that. I cannot weigh in at a meeting that I'm working. Newsflash. So then I had to decide, oh my gosh, like on the spot, do I weigh in today? Do I not weigh? Do I weigh in? Do I not weigh? I decided to weigh. So I am amazingly down 3.6 which brings me to 137.8 which is my lowest since we've been back from vacation to Florida so that's good um, but yeah down so obviously the weight that I gained last week was denim dress weight but um, because I could not be down that much without denim dress weight but it's good to go down after being up two weeks in a row. That makes me feel better. And now I'm even more determined to stay on my 30 point days till the end of the week. I mean, till the end of, until Sunday, until Monday. So I can fill in my calendar and hopefully nudge that number down a little more. So that's it. We also had a very relevant discussion um, the weekly was about not, uh, not letting the number on the scale define you. So here's the weekly. It says value yourself. And there's a whole exercise on the second page to practice to learn how to value yourself. So maybe I will go through that and fill you guys in because I know I can definitely use that as a reminder. I have far too many times in the past and even recently used the scale to define myself. So wrong, wrong, wrong. Anyway, um, it was a great meeting. It was a good way in, a good surprise way in. And now we are headed home for dinner. I will show you guys what we have when we get there. Eddie made the crock pot meal that I told you about and I will show you that soon. I'm hungry. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to try and answer all the confusion about this crazy PB Fit stuff. So thank you so much to Melinda Norman who helped me figure it out. And I'll tell you guys what I think the real calculation is and what I'm going to calculate. So apparently with PB Fit, there are two different kinds. There's a gluten-free kind and a sugar-free kind. This is apparently the gluten-free kind. Okay, so this is what we're using. This is what we're going to track. Here's the nutrition information. Okay, here I've written down what the tracker shows for nutrition information, what the scanner shows for nutrition information, and then what's actually on the label. So the tracker and the scanner are identical. If you look up PB Fit gluten-free in the tracker, this is what you get. If you actually use the barcode here, and you scan your PB Fit, this is what you get here. Same thing. Okay, so we have 65 calories, which is wrong. Four grams of total fat, which is wrong. One gram of sugar, which is wrong. And four grams of protein, which is also wrong. So every single thing that's listed in the tracker and the scanner for PB Fit gluten-free is wrong. And that's why it comes up to two smart points. So here's what it actually says on the label, and I'll show you guys. Okay, that's where I'm getting it. So on the label is 50 calories, not 65. 1.5 grams of total fat, okay? Saturated fat is not even listed. Weight Watchers needs to use the saturated fat to calculate their smart points. They do not use total fat. So not only is total fat not 4 grams, it's only 1.5, we're not using that calculation anyway. So saturated fat is not listed at all. Melinda went to the manufacturer's website and it says on the website that this is not a significant source of saturated fat. So you can choose to do this one of two ways. Okay, it's all about the fat, but let me go through the rest of it too. So the sugar, sugar is 2. Protein is 6. And the tracker and scanner say sugar is 1 and protein is 4. So that's huge. Those numbers are a huge difference. So the problem really lies in the saturated fat, though. If we choose to use the 1.5 grams of total fat and plug that in the calculator for the saturated fat, it's going to come up as two smart points per two tablespoons. However, if it was saturated fat, because of nutrition labeling is required to say saturated fat. I believe the requirements are if it's under, I don't know, maybe half a milligram, they don't have to say it, but it's not listed here at all. And the manufacturer says it's not a significant source of saturated fat. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with Melinda and I'm gonna say zero grams of saturated fat. So 50 calories, zero grams of saturated fat, two sugars and six protein, that makes it one smart point per two tablespoons. <laughs> so there are the facts, people. This is what I've been able to gather. Thanks again to Melinda and to my label and the scanner and the tracker. It's just a huge lesson for always checking the numbers. I don't do it. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't do it. I scan and I just trust what's in there. Or I'm at work on my computer so I look something up and I just trust it. I just trust the numbers. Well, this just goes to show you should always check the numbers. So I'm going to consider there's very minimal saturated fat in this PB Fit and I'm going to continue to count my two tablespoons at one smart point. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I love this stuff. I use it a lot. And um, one smart point is probably not going to make me gain weight or anything. But you guys know I calculate my points so carefully that it's definitely annoying to be off by a point. But I am going to consider um, two tablespoons of PB Fit one smart point. So let me know what you guys think and how you're going to count it if you have this in your kitchen. Okay guys, here is dinner tonight, courtesy of Chef Almanza. So what I have under the sauce over here that you cannot see is 3.2 ounces of cooked chicken breast. That is two smart points. And then I actually measured all my potatoes too. I have six ounces of cooked potatoes for four smart points. And then the sauce base is actually a mixture of tomatoes, onions, 
um, some liquid from the chicken broth and then the I think it's the ragu cheese creations light parmesan alfredo sauce so a quarter cup of the parmesan alfredo sauce is two smart points I actually used a half cup of sauce because um, I have the sauce with the chicken broth and the tomatoes and onions so I'm counting a half cup of this sauce for two smart points so that is four, five, six, seven, eight points for my chicken crock pot dish tonight. And then I have my two cute new little glasses from San Francisco. Um, my little soda glasses, diet black cherry and black cherry, but we all know what's in those. That is my sangria and I measured it out so I would know how much every night is exactly eight ounces of sangria. And eight ounces is literally all the way brimming to the top. So um, I had a drink a little bit already. <laughs> so I'm counting two eight ounce glasses of my sangria for five smart points each. That is 10 points for sangria and eight points for dinner. Hey guys, so I'm just making a little zero point pumpkin soup for my lunch tomorrow. Here's what it looks like so far, it is simmering. All I have in there right now is a can of 100% pure pureed pumpkin, zero smart points, and a can of butterball chicken broth for zero smart points. I also added so far garlic powder, zero and then I literally just like took the lid off of all of these Italian spices and dumped them all in there is minced onion yeah okay minced onion oregano minced garlic and crushed chili so those are the spices on top I am literally just going to simmer this until all the spices and the flavors mix together. I am going to put it in my jars and this is going to be my zero point pumpkin soup for my lunch this week. <laughs>